Hey guys, Cactus Main, welcome back. Uh, sorry I've been on a little bit of a hiatus. Um, I just got back from actually a week-long conference for work, so I haven't really been able to answer anybody's questions that have been posted on my page or on my videos. Uh, I get two of the biggest questions I'm getting right now is when are you going to do more cactus videos and when are we going to see all your animals? Uh, the cactus videos, I'm working on that. Um, some events in my life have taken place to where I've had to downscale the size of my cactus collection uh, immensely. But it's all for the good. Um, I'll explain that. I'll do another video here. Uh, if not today, maybe uh, tomorrow and get it online so you guys know what's going on with the cactus, <coughs> excuse me, the cactus situation. Um, or the cacti situation. Um, as for the animals, that's what this video is about. Um, quite a few animals. I'm going to go ahead and just run through and show them all to you guys uh, one at a time out of their habitats so you can have a little bit of a close-up look at them uh, for those of you that are interested. Um, out of the, all the animals we have, we only have one, one mammal. And I don't really like it, but I'll show you to you guys anyways. Um, as you can probably hear right now, next to the camera, you can't see it, but right over there, uh, is a pretty cool little tank. And I'll show you the three little guys in there. Pretty stoked about them. I've had them for a little bit. I'll show you. Alright, enough rambling. Let me go ahead and, uh, I'm going to start it off with my uh, ball python collection, which is very small, but it is what it is, and I love them to death. Alright guys, let me go grab the first one, and then uh, the video will be kind of like, you know, sorry about the cuts. I'm going to try and use my editing software to make the cuts as smooth and transitional as possible from each animal to the next. And uh, hopefully I'm in good light to show the good uh, colors, and hopefully none of them are in the shed. All right, guys. Thank you. All right, guys. First up for uh, the ball pythons is my beautiful boy. Uh, he's one of my favorites. He's very pretty. I just got him out. He didn't eat last night, and I couldn't figure out why. And uh, just opened up his uh, his tub, and he left me a nice little present to clean out after I shoot videos. So yeah, he had to poop. So I guess that's why he didn't eat. So maybe he'll get a meal tonight. But this. I can get good color for you guys on the camera. This is my pastel butter male. He's got some really good blushing on the top, all the way actually, and on his head. If you would just cooperate just a little bit, come on, butters. Show everybody your pretty V's. Oh, who's that pretty boy? Look at his. He's just beautiful. Um, I love him. Pastel butter. Gorgeous. I got him uh, whew, at the local reptile store. Amazing deal. Um, for those of you reptile guys and gals uh, that go to kingsnake.com and stuff. and I was finding pastel butters around the two to three hundred dollar range. And I'm like, man, you know. They are beautiful snakes, but I really don't want to pay that much. And I just happened to call my local reptile store and ask, hey man, what kind of morphs do you have in? And he said, what are you looking for? I said, I'm looking for a pastel butter male. And he said, I have the most beautiful pastel butter male you've ever seen. I told him to hold it for me, rushed down there after work, saw this guy and picked him up in a heartbeat. Um, and I like I like being able to do that to to uh, support your local reptile stores as long as they're good people and you know take care of their animals and they're just not like I don't know like pet smart ball pythons. Um, I like to support them as much as I can. Smoke support local, then you know order online. Uh, that's enough gambling about how I got them or gambling not gambling dude. But he's male, he's coming in at right at, he, he might not look it on camera, but with an empty stomach, he's coming in at 484 grams. Uh, it's August, so I'm hoping to, what, what did my camera just do? Camera did something weird. Um, battery might die, that would suck. Uh, but he's coming in right at 480 something, 84 grams, 
I can't remember if I just said it or not. So he'll be ready this uh, this winter. It's August right now, so he he should be in the five five to six hundred grams, so he can breed. Look at that pretty boy. He's he's just gorgeous. I love his color pattern. Um, what I'm breeding him to is all I have that's going to be ready this year is a normal female. So uh, I'll get normals, pastels, and butters. But that's perfectly fine with me. Um, this would be my first season breeding them, actually. I've kept ball pythons for a while, but I've, I've never ventured into the breeding. But I'm going to do it this year. Um, so, yeah, that's butters ball pastel ball python he's got really great brush blushing look i mean and he's a sweetheart right, blushing on the back of his neck he's a sweetheart he don't care about nothing he's a good boy and he's on frozen thought which is awesome i love snakes on frozen thought all right let me run and uh get the next one let's see what uh let's see what my camera did something weird i don't know if this is recording if it is sorry guys all right let me all get right. the next one Next up, what we have is my second male. Uh, he was actually my original male ball python, and he was actually my first morph. I have is Mufasa, my lemon blast. He is probably the tamest snake of any kind that I have ever seen. Uh, he's so tame, he won't eat. He's uh. He's kind of being a problem right now. He's off feed. Uh, he's been off feed for about a month. I'm watching his weight. It's not going down too much. Maybe 20, 30 grams. Um, I'm trying everything to get him to eat, but he just won't. He's uh, he's too nice to even strike at live anything. Um, he's kind of been a problem eater since the day I got him, but he's still a beautiful snake. I love him. I was kind of hoping to have him... Uh, ready for this year. Look at that nice gold in there. I mean I'm under fluorescent lighting but you can see that gold. I love his gold sides. Nice white bottom. Mufasa, you want to show everybody your green eyes? Come here. No, look at the camera, not me. Oh man, I don't know if you can pick up the green eyes. He's a beautiful boy. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to have them ready um, for this breeding season to also mix with the uh, normal female, you know, to rotate him and butters out and uh, possibly end up with what they call, I guess, a dual sire clutch. I'm new to the breeding game, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he's probably going to sit this year out because um, he's not eating. Uh, he's sitting right at about 400 grams, so... I keep trying to get him to take something he won't take. Uh, he drinks water. He still pees and drinks water. He does that. He's just, he's so nice. He won't, won't strike nothing. It's like, come on, dude, you got to be a little bit mean. Maybe a little bit mean. Maybe a little bit mean. I mean, I can't really grab too many snakes and pet them on the head and them not care. But Mufasa, he doesn't care about anything, even food. Nonetheless, Lemon Blast is a beautiful morph. Um, before I got him, I only seen him online, like on uh, kingsnake.com and stuff. And looking at pictures of him, I'm like, oh, it doesn't pinstripe, and it just didn't really look that pretty until I went to a local pet store looking for just a normal because I wanted another ball python. And I saw him, and he was a really good deal too. I think he was 125. Can't remember, it was a while ago. And they're just beautiful. I wish, I wish the lighting was just right to get his green eyes. Um, I can't tell on my camera viewer if you guys can see the green eyes, but that, they're they're absolutely gorgeous. So that's Mufasa. He's a good boy. Um, he loves the kids. The kids love him. And yeah, right, Mufasa. That's most of the animals are named after Disney cartoon characters. Mufasa. You've seen Elsa in the other videos. Um, Butters. That's kind of a South Park one. But so there's Mufasa. Beautiful, beautiful 
You know me, bless baby. What you up, Mufashi? You looking at daddy? Okay. Enough of that crap. Well, not crap, but enough of that. Let's go ahead and uh, get the next one. I'm, I'll, I'll go ahead and pull out uh, Elsa. Even though you guys already seen her, she's gone through a shed, so let me go grab her and show you what she looks like now. She's kind of starting to get a little dirty, but she's still a beautiful snake. All right, guys. Okie dokie, we got Elsa. Um, my bumblebee female. I kind of want to change her name to Psycho. Uh, she's nice. Beautiful. But she's just a spaz, guys. I don't... <laughs> I don't know what it is, but she is a spaz. Um, she's ferociously, if I'm saying that correctly, ferociously eats anything and everything I put in there. Um, she's already shed, and she had a nice, full, complete shed, which is really good. Um, but she just, she will not sit still. Uh, most snakes, when I do frozen thaws, most of my snakes, I gotta dangle it around and mimic the movement. Uh, as soon as I open the cage, it's a boom! She's got it wrapped. Uh, but I've also read that that's pretty common to uh, snakes with the spider gene, um, as well as head wobble. I haven't noticed it in her. I hope she doesn't get it. Um, but she is. Uh, she's doing really good. She's still got a nice pattern, but if you if you look, she's starting to get all these little darker scales. I don't like it. And this is a fresh shed. Uh, now the, the bright black and bright yellow and the white side contrast, I love that. I just don't, I, I don't know what you guys call it, but I call it um, dirty. Dirty or busy is what I call it. Uh, please somebody who knows more about ball pythons fill me out on the terminology for that. Uh, I don't really care for that too much. Hopefully it goes away and doesn't get worse, but she's a beautiful snake. And I can't wait to breed her in bubbles. Oh, bubbles. Yeah, but we got a couple years ago with this girl. Oh, one thing we, me and the girls have noticed is there's like a little wolf pattern on her. You guys see the wolf right there? Got ears, eyes, and a nose. That's pretty cool. Looks like a little wolf. But she is a spaz. You can see she will not sit still. Um, she's constantly all over the place. Good snake. Uh, I've only got one other snake. Well, actually two. All my females eat like, whew, craziness. All three of them, they just, they down it. Down the food. Males give up a little bit of fight, but Butters is eating good. So there's Elsa. You guys have seen her. You've seen her eat. You saw the unboxing. She's still a beautiful snake. I love the pattern. I just wish it wasn't as busy after this last shed. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a little busy. Dirty. But she's still a beautiful snake. An awesome snake. Uh, she'll hiss at you when you get her out of the tank. Or out of the tub. She'll, she'll do a little hissing. But once you get her out, she's just fine. Beautiful. Head's still white as hell on top. I love that. How white the head is right there. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or if the uh, artificial lighting's turning it yellow. But that's our little Elsa baby. Psycho. I kind of want to rename her Psycho, Psycho, but the misses and kids don't want to call it Psycho. Yeesh. Alright, say goodbye, Elsa. On to the next night, guys. Hey, back again with another female. Um, this is what my girlfriend says is my favorite snake of all. I've Apparently, baby, it, like it's my own child. Um, I don't know. I really like her, uh, and it's very basic morph. Very, very basic. Even if you call it a morph, I don't think so. Uh, just a pastel. The name's Edie. E D E D I. Edie. Uh, I got that name from Mass Effect. If anybody out there plays that. Um, and of course, she's heavy into shed, so she just looks like a basic normal. But she's not. You can kind of tell her blushing and stuff. She's got good blushing. Uh, she's got a lot of nice yellow um, when she's not in shed. Uh, she's a ferocious eater too, but a sweetheart. 
She really is. Uh, you guys could probably see her eye caps are glazing over. She can't see too well. Um, actually, I knew she was going in shed. I don't know why I said earlier in the video, hopefully none are in shed. Because last night, um, she couldn't see crap. Her, her eye caps were so grayed out. I don't know if it's going to pick it up. Not really. Uh, that she couldn't see anything. She had no idea where anything was. Um, and she still ate. None of my other snakes will eat when, they're, when their eyes are glazed over. But she did. She's slamming them down. I got her like a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago, uh, at 142 grams. And she's pushing close to 400 now. <laughs> she's just slamming them down. Um, and when she does the dirty, the poop poop, there's barely anything. So she's just growing. This is her third time shedding in a month and a half to two months, guys. She's she's growing. Of course she won't. Yeah, look how red her, pink her belly is. You can see it. So I got her humidity up in her tub and she's not gonna make it for this season, but I cannot wait to get her with butters. Get a super pastel butter. That'd be nice. I'd love to have that. Uh, That'd be really great. But she's, you know, I don't know. Most people don't like pastels. They're like, eh, pastel, pastel. I don't know. I love her. I love the pattern, the normal type pattern. Just the, you know, the better colors and the blushing. Um, I really wish she wasn't in shed. Cause she's, she does have some wicked ass blushing going on. It's just really hard to tell. But she's another sweetheart. She can hardly see, and she's not biting or doing nothing. So, I'm not going to mess with it too much. I'm going to go ahead and put her back. Give her a couple little spritz of water. And hopefully she'll be out of shed soon. And then, we will go. This is Edie. We're going to say goodbye to Edie. And we are going to attempt... We are going to attempt, and I say attempt, to get... My female normal, who will be ready to breed this uh, season. The only reason I say attempt is it's kind of it's kind of embarrassing to say this, guys, but she scares the shit out of me. Sorry for my language for the kids, but she scares the shit out of me. The only snake to ever scare the shit out of me. I've come up on rattlesnakes in the wild, moccasins in the water. Everything. Alligators. She scares the crap out of me. And that sucks. I've tried and tried and tried handling her and I don't know what it is, guys. Um, she scares the crap out of me. She's a big girl. She's strong. She's very aggressive. And she thinks everything is food. Um, everything. If it has a heat source, it's food and she's striking. I can handle a, a defensive strike. Whoop de doo. Woo hoo! And if she curls around my hand, bites my hand, curls around that way, and snaps my wrist, I don't want that. But I still try to hold her. Um, I mean, of course, you got to. You got to get her out to clean the cage. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to try and tame her down and breed her, obviously, with uh, butters. Um, if I can't get her tamed down, then. I don't know, I might have to sell her, uh, just for the simple fact we have kids in the house and I don't want, my snakes aren't um, like investment tools and and they're just for breeding, I don't know, I, that's not, they're, they're pets, they're family pets, all the kids hold them, all the kids love them, they love the kids, so if I can't have, I, I can't have a, a, a three and a half foot snake that's me I just can't do it so I'm, I'm putting in the effort to try and tame her down let me go see if I can get her out and get her on camera for you guys um, maybe you can hear me scream like a little girl and just be nervous like Ooh! <laughs> I can't believe I'm admitting this crap she does scare the crap out of me let me go get her guys okay guys I'm gonna do this one quick um, she scares the piss out of me uh, I don't know why. This is Bertha. Um, 
female normal. She is right at 1,700 grams right now. Um, and she just slams them down. And she's a normal, but look at that striping on her ass. And the banding. Um, I can't get it on curl, which I guess is a good thing. I don't know if you guys can tell on my voice, but I am scared to death right now. And that is sad. I should not be sad holding a ball python. I don't know why. But um, basically the only way I can pick her up is if I just gut load her. Uh, so she's had two medium rats two days in a row. So she's she's freaking she's just a monster. Um, and I'm trying to get her on well, it doesn't matter if she eats whatever you put in there. I got her on frozen thawed now trying to calm her down. Um, doesn't really do much yet. Guys, look at that banding. Um, I know it's a normal I just hope that, I, I love her pattern, I hope it'll come out, I love her, her, her striping on the top, look at that, it's the black banding, I love it, so I hope it comes out in some of the babies, um, and I hope I can get her tamed down, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and put her back, because like I said, she just ate two medium rats in a row, so her tummy is full and she might not like it. There's her belly. Her belly's kind of clean. Almost has the lines down the side, the black lines that some people talk about, but there, it is dirty in there. There is there is black in there. But you can, she's not nice. <laughs> 1700 grams, she's ready. She's ready to breed here shortly. I love that pattern. Um, any of you uh, normal or morph experts out there, think those stripes on her are, are, are cool let me know let me know that I'm not the only one that thinks she has a pretty cool pattern all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and put her up she's <laughs> you're seeing cactus main nervous uh, so share this video if you guys want to show other people a grown man that's actually scared of his own animal and I shouldn't be guys I really shouldn't um, sitting here talking she's being a good girl I just want to keep her away from my face. She looks at everything like food. Uh, hopefully one day, I'm hoping I can get her tamed down. Cause I, I do believe she could be a sweetheart. You want to say hi to the camera? Want to say hi to the camera? I do believe she could be a sweetheart. She's actually looking at herself. That's pretty creepy. All right, let me go put her up. She's being very active. So that's, oh, I don't know if I said her name. Her name is Bertha. I'm actually sweating holding her. <laughs> this is funny. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't let anybody else hold her. She is very, very mean. Uh, I got her from a local reptile store. Not the one I've got the other two snakes from. But um, she was basically a rack snake that was never taken out of the rack. So, hence her uh, attitude. The only time she ever saw a human was when food was coming in. So, uh, I'm trying to take care of that by, you know, holding her more often. Um, I don't hold her when the kids or my girlfriend are here because, no. That's a little too much excitement for her. Um, and, yeah, I try to keep her full so she's not crazy ass striking at everything because she will she will strike I, I'm gonna try and get some video to show you guys um, and they're not they're not uh, defensive strikes like I said I can handle a defensive strike from this girl what I cannot handle is a kill strike when when she wraps up and snaps my wrist or whatever but you know she's doing good this is the first time I've had her out in about a week and a half and she's doing good so I'm the one that's being a baby but you're basic normal Got cool patterns. She's a good girl. I hope. All right, guys, let's move on to the. Uh, what we got? That's the last ball python. So that's five total. Three females, two males. Um, this is going to be the breeder girl this year. Hopefully, she'll give us some eggs. Um, oh yeah, and I was trying to explain a little bit. You know the reasonings of why I have snakes, uh, family pets. We love them. And 
and uh, breeding them is just going to be a cool little, uh, it's not a business, it'll be a little hobby and a cool little thing for uh, the kids to see. Um, I know when I was a kid if I got to see uh, ball python breeding and eggs and hatchlings and all that, it would have blown my mind. So I'm going to share that experience um, with my girlfriend and kids. It's still going to blow my mind at 33 years old. So that's what we're doing. Just a little hobby and then if anybody wants the babies we'll of course sell them. I'm not going to have room for all those snakes. Eh, look. She's not doing too bad right now. A little bracelet. Yeah. You know what? I might, when I, you know, stop the camera to go get the next animal, I might actually hold her for a little bit. Because she's doing good. She's not snapping her. When I know that she's going to strike, her head is like that, looking for food. Every which way. And she's not doing that, so I might actually hold her. Um, any of you guys have any tips on, on trying to get them to tame down? Let me know. I've tried quite a different things uh, uh, from ballpythons.net forum or whatever. I'm just Yahoo Answers, which is <laughs> Yahoo Answers makes me laugh. Uh, but she seems to be doing decent right now, so I want to stop the video to get the next set of animals. Yeah, this is all the ball pythons, I was telling you that. Um, and I need to speed this up, I said it was going to be a short video. Uh, next we'll move on to our, what do we got? Uh, uh, our shelled friends. Alright guys, All right, guys um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut the video short with just the snakes on this one. I was looking at it and it's getting kind of long. And I don't want you guys to have to sit and watch a 15 minute video. So uh, I'll, I'll make all, all the Cactus Man's animals like a little series. Uh, so this will be the first part, just my ball pythons. Uh, the next one will be my shelled friends. Uh, and you'll see what that is here shortly. Uh, I do have some videos of Oleg and Olga up there already on my channel. Um, but I have a few more. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Thank you to all my subscribers. Thanks for hanging in there. Uh, like I said, I'll have an update on what's going on with the cactus situation. Uh, I'm not done with them. I will never be done with cactus. Uh, where the hell is it? Got my cactus tattoo if I can show it to you guys. Cactus is my life. Um, I do actually plan on doing a couple videos here shortly um, on uh, how to water your cacti, good ways to water them, when to water, um, oh, there goes my phone. Uh, also, sorry about that. Um, a really important one I want to do is how to treat your cacti with systemic pesticides to, uh, you know, prevent uh, pest infestation like mealybugs, red spider mites, stuff like that. So, uh, hang in there. I'll get it done. Um, if it's not this week, if it's not next week, it'll be the week after. Uh, because everything that's going on will be in my life will be done, set, and finalized. Um, and like I said, it's all good stuff that's going on. The only thing is, is my cactus collection is going from here down to here. Um, I sold off a lot and given away quite a few, um, just because I got to minimize uh, for my current living situation, which is not bad. It's great. It's good. Um, but I'll make another video explaining all that. So hang in there, guys. I got more stuff coming. Um, and like I said, part two of all of Cactus Man's animals. Thanks for hanging in. Hope you enjoyed. Um, like I said, if there's any of you uh, ball python experts out there that know more, let me know what you think about the uh, what about Bertha, the 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 normal. Let me know what you think about her uh, her pattern. Um, tips on taming her down. Because uh, I really don't want to get rid of her. I want her to be a family pet. She's awesome. She's beautiful. Um, and then, uh, oh yeah, any tips on getting uh, Mufasa to eat? Uh, I've tried everything. I've tried uh, upping the temperatures. I've tried bathing them. I've tried um, anything you can read. I've tried it. Everything. And he just, he's just too, I think he's just too nice of a guy to eat. So let me know. Um, and then also let me know if you guys liked it. 
video. Uh, and enjoy. Thank you. I can't thank you guys enough. Um, I think I'm like 700 and 700 and something subscribers, guys. So I appreciate everything. And I'm sorry if if you just subscribe for cactus videos and you're, you're like, oh, cactus man just uploaded something. A snake video? What the hell? Who cares about that? I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'll get more cactus videos up. I'm, I'm not abandoning the cactus whatsoever. That's my prime thing. Uh, the only reason I'm putting up animals is because I have more than one hobby in life and I'd like to share that with people. And some people are actually interested in it. Um, for those of you who are interested in the snakes and the reptiles and the animals, and I put up a cactus video and you're like, oh man, come on, put up another snake video. Just hang in there. Um, I know every, oh, not everybody, but a lot of people have multiple hobbies and multiple passions. And <clears throat> that's kind of like what I want to base my channel off of is multiple passions. Uh, the prime focus, of course, is still cacti, uh, hence Cactus Man. So thank you, everybody. I can't, I can't say thank you enough. 700 and something subscribers for watching cactus videos, really? Never thought that would happen. I didn't know there was that many cactaholics out there. Um, so, yeah, hang in there, guys. Uh, sorry about the long video with my ugly mug and every shot, but hey, it is what it is. All right, thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you later, and always thank you for watching.